So it's been my opinion for a long time that Citizen doesn't get the love that I think they deserve from the Watch Geek community. Now, I don't know if that's because they come off as like the mall watch or maybe the department store watch brand, but Citizen watches in general are some of the best utilitarian watches around and they make some of the most iconic dad watches. They make, in my opinion, they make the most fantastic dad watches out there. And what is a dad watch, you might say? Well, you probably figured out by the title that today we are going to take a look at what I think is the most iconic, probably the greatest dad watch ever invented. And it's a Citizen offering. This is the Citizen Skyhawk AT EcoDrive. This is the ultimate dad watch. And what is the dad watch, you might ask? Well, you must pair this with some jean shorts, some New Balance shoes, some white calf socks, and a Corvette. Used to have a Corvette. I don't need more long story. Uh, maybe I'll get into that later. But that's what you must pair this bad boy with because it is the ultimate dad watch. This is the watch that you will see on every father at Disneyland, every father at an amusement park, every father at a soccer game. That's this watch. So let's flip this camera around and take a deeper dive into the Citizen Skyhawk AT, Blue Angels edition, by the way. And let's rock this watch. All right, guys, so here it is, the Citizen ProMaster Skyhawk AT Blue Angels Edition. So as you can see, this dial is super busy. So let's get a cool close-up of this dial, and uh, then we'll go over some of the specs and features. As you can see, there is a lot going on in these uh in these citizen pro master these skyhawks and nighthawks and they got a whole a range and line of this stuff so let's uh take a look at the specs and features of this watch this watch boasts a 45 millimeter case diameter it is 15 millimeters thick it is 49 millimeters lug to lug it has a 22 millimeter lug width. It is powered by the Caliber U680 EcoDrive Solar Quartz. That's right, this one gets its power from the sun. If you don't know what EcoDrive is, that's basically what it is. It is a solar powered watch. However, this one is also an atomic time watch. So it'll sync with towers and all kinds of scientific stuff you know that's what the at stands for by the way just a little nugget there for you uh crystal is sapphire on this one now a lot of citizen watches especially the lower end ones do not come with sapphire they come with a mineral crystal but this one is sapphire which is awesome 200 meters of water resistance and they accomplished that now now i just want to point out how significant that is. This is not a dive watch. This is like a, a pilot's chronograph mixed with a dive watch, water resistance. Now, 200 meters of water resistance, gents, with pushers. These are not screw down pushers. These are regular pushers. And as you can see, I'm freely turning the crown. Pull it out. This is not a screw down crown. Non-screw down crown chronograph pushers, chronograph style pushers on the side, and they still managed to get 200 meters of water resistance on that. That's an accomplishment. In my book, that's an accomplishment. Bracelet is 23 millimeters. As you can see, it, it uh, extends a little bit past the 22 uh, lug width there. 
tapering down to 19 and a half to the fully milled. Congratulations, citizen. Way to go. Seiko, take a lesson from them. Fully milled clasp. Solid links. Solid end links. It is held together with split pins. Now, this watch has an insane amount of functions. An insane amount. Okay, it has atomic timekeeping, as stated before. It has a 1 100th one of a second chronograph that can measure up to 24 hours. It has a perpetual calendar. It has dual time, two alarms, 99 minute countdown timer, any digi display. The top, it also displays UTC time, which is universal coordinated time. Can I just take a side note there for a minute? Take a side note there for a minute. UTC, universal coordinated time. Wouldn't it be universal time coordinated? I think that's the way they do it too, but just, I thought that was kind of, kind of weird. Power reserve indicator up at the top. It has a digital backlight display. So this thing can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Let's just take a zoom in and take a look here. Now, if you pull it out to one position, this right here is your, as you can see, radio controlled. Uh, this right here is like basically your menu, okay? You turn it and it'll go to, depending on which way you turn, there's time, it's calendar, and if you push it in, it'll change the calendar. There you go, Saturday, 528. It is in fact May 28th as I am filming this. Pull it back out. Now, you pull it out one spot to to select and then you have to push it in for it to... There you go. 20 minute timer right now. Countdown timer. Go up. There's a chronograph. Alright. I I don't know what that is. World times maybe. I Alarm 1, Alarm 2, RXS. I have no... That might be the radio control part to sync with the radio. I don't quite remember this thing. It's got so much stuff. It's crazy. But as you can see at the 12 UTC time, 24 hour. All right, there is the power reserve on the left up there. And it is set to New York City time. It is now 9.53 on the 28th. I'm in Virginia, so I'm in East Coast time. Uh, this has a friction fit bi-directional crazy bezel thing going on. I think this is to, to measure your fuel and all kinds of other craziness here. Uh, top pusher controls, I don't know. Bottom pusher, there you go. Some kind of crazy stuff. I don't know what that's doing. So this thing is absolutely nuts on the amount of features it does. And you never have to change batteries. It's super accurate because it's atomic time. I think that's why this is, and I'm declaring it, the ultimate dad watch. Um, I say that because when the dads are walking through the malls with their wife and their children, and they say, hey, I want a nice watch. What do you got? And they're drawn to this. Now, this is on the larger side, but it doesn't wear that big. I know it sounds crazy. It's 45 millimeters, but it really does not wear that big it's it's just the way the case is kind of short and squatty it you know it's very cool so let's take a look at the case back right quick and see what that looks like so as you can see it does have the blue angels insert citizen skyhawk eco drive at japan movement um do not open service center repair only water resistance 20 bar sapphire stainless steel so yeah man just a a fantastic utilitarian watch this thing will give you years and years dare i say decades of reliable service i have a citizen i think it's a 3800 cal very nice perpetual calendar watch i've had it for over a decade um still go strong throw it in the window charge it up for a day and it just keeps on going man so let's get a loom shot i mean actually let's see what it looks like on the wrist um Let's see what that looks like there. Get this bad boy on. There it is, man. Ready for your weekend soccer game with your kids. It's just, it's awesome. So let's get a loom shot and see what that looks like. All right, guys. So there it is. 
as you can see, that's very nice loom. It's the, you know, the blue tinted loom, 369, you know, uh, numbers, and, and it's a really nice loom, man. That's really all I could say about this. So let's, you know, let's flip this camera around and go get the final thoughts. All right, guys, so there it is, the Citizen Promaster Skyhawk AT Blue Angels Division, the ultimate dad watch. If you're a dad and you just want to rock something that's cool and reliable. You guys agree with me? Do you think Citizen comes off as the dad watch brand, especially this type, the Nighthawks and the Skyhawks and these pilot watches that have so many, you know, uh, complications stuff on them, you'll never use all of them or any of them. I do, I think Citizen gets a bad rap. I have a feeling Citizen is coming up. They are listening to their customers. They're listening, sounds like maybe to the watch community, the watch geek community, and they're stepping up their game. Um, they've got a, a couple of new releases out in the Pro Master Fugu line. They've you know increased them a little bit, a bunch of videos out there. I think Citizen's up and coming. I think we have their ear. And I think we can get them to a place where they're no longer looked at as the mall watch or the dad watch. Guys, what do you think uh, about Citizen as a whole? What's your opinion of them? And what do you think about this watch? You think this watch is cool? I do, that's why I bought it. So guys, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. And as always, rock that watch.